Hey everybody. <clears throat> um, I guess this will be an exhortation. And I guess I'm going to address maybe two categories of people that I think everybody fits into. But the exhortation to everybody, regardless, is that we all need to cling to Jesus more than ever now. So that's for everybody, just a reminder. But it seems to me that perhaps there's two different categories of people in life regarding trust and support systems and all that. The first category of people would be those who have at least one person in this world that they believe they can fully trust in all areas. I mean, of course, no one's perfect and no one is as trustworthy as Jesus because Jesus was the only one who was perfect. He is the only one who's perfect. But, you know what I mean. Like, you know, substantially, in all areas, you can trust this person. For those people who have that support system, for those people who have at least one person that they feel confident that they can trust substantially in all areas, my exhortation to you is this. One, first of all, double check that. Go to Holy Spirit and ask Holy Spirit to reveal if there's anything untrustworthy in that person that maybe you're just not aware of. And two, I exhort you to strengthen that relationship, enrich that relationship, do whatever you can do to strengthen that relationship. There's all kinds of stuff out there, such as, you know, learning about the five love languages, you know, just things like that, that can strengthen communication, that can just strengthen relationships. And so, again, if you're one of those people who falls into this category, that you have someone, you have someone on the face of this earth that you can trust, you believe you can trust, check that with Holy Spirit and strengthen that relationship. Second category of people is the rest of us who don't have one person, one human being on the face of this earth that we feel confident we can trust in all areas. And to us, to this category, I want to give a double exhortation that we really, 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 really need to cling on to Jesus and go deeper and higher with Jesus more than ever before. Because bottom line, we're at the end of the age and the tribulation will begin in September, and, oh, this earth is just gonna increasingly turn into hell on earth, and, um, it's gonna get to the point where it's unimaginable and unbearable, and there will be famine, and there will be cannibalism, and there will be oppression and abuse, and just insanity. 
And so I just want to exhort everybody to cling on to Jesus more than ever. And if you have someone on this earth, then you better strengthen that relationship now. And if you don't have anyone on this earth, then you all the more need to really strengthen your faith. We all need to strengthen our faith and we all need to cling to Jesus. But those of us especially who don't have even just one person, we really, really need to cling on to Jesus. We need to strengthen our faith. We need to refresh ourselves on the Logos Word of God. And we need to examine ourselves and search ourselves. We need to pray for ourselves. That the Lord will indeed keep his word of strengthening us. So that we can overcome. Because the evil powers are just going to get worse and worse and worse. I'm 38 years old and I still do not have one human being on this earth that I can fully trust in terms of like areas of life, you know, departments or whatever you want to call it. Um... And the, the one person that ironically turns out to be the most trustworthy person at one point used to be the most abusive person in my life, and I'm actually going to be geographically moving away from him. So that is what I need to do, and I just was pondering that, and I thought I would just punctuate these points to everyone, and, you know, just... Strengthen the relationships you do have if you can and cling on to Jesus more than ever before because it's, we are in, we are in for it here at the end of the age. So, um, I know it's not exactly encouraging and uplifting, but that's not really what my channel is necessarily all about. Um, you know, I'm a realist and uh, we got to face reality. So, so yeah, strengthen your relationships and above all, strengthen your relationship with Christ right now. And if you don't know how to do that, just pray for yourself. Just pray for Jesus to strengthen your faith. I know I'm kind of stating the obvious, but it needs to be said. <laughs>